we're going to show you guys how to actually install the CPU into the motherboard. So there's a couple of points of consideration. Uh, one, you just want to make sure and give yourself an entire uh, amount of space that's needed. Um, it's not a very technical or complicated process, but it, uh, it is going to be a little bit sensitive in terms of just having a little bit more dexterity, a little bit more control. So it's just going to make it easier if you give your <clears throat> if you give yourself a clean and easy and open work environment. Um, for you guys that maybe don't have a very flat or even surface, um, a quick tip is you can go ahead and take the motherboard box and you can use the box as the surface where you put the motherboard on top of um, so that you can go ahead and just have a little bit more stability when we're working through this process. So first up, we have, of course, here the motherboard out. And you can see that there's an actual, um, <coughs> excuse me, there's the socket plate in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press down on the retention um, lever. So when we press down on the retention lever, we're going to want to pull out. So you can see right there, I can go ahead and pull out and then allow it to lift up. From there, now it's not locked into place anymore. I can go ahead and lift up and you'll see that now I have access to the actual CPU socket. Now I can go ahead and just take my thumb to the back of that plate, pop that off, and that's it. I've taken it off. Very, very simple process. Do not throw this away. You want to make sure and keep this in the event that you maybe ever have to return or RMA your motherboard. Uh, you do always want to do that with the CPU uh, cover in place. Okay, so make sure and just keep a hold of that. So next up is we have the actual CPU itself. So this is our 4770K. Uh, this installation process would 100% apply to any fourth generation Haswell-based CPU, as well as it would apply to a 4670K. So you can see right here, here's our CPU. This is the actual top. Um, this is the actual IHS. So this is the heat spreader, the integrated heat spreader um, that makes contact externally um, with our heat sink assembly. This is what we want to have facing outwards. So this is what you want to see. The other side is the actual pad interface. That's what's going to make contact with all the pins inside of the CPU socket. Okay, you're going to want to make sure and not put the CPU in backwards. Um, now there are, as you see, some notches right here. If I point these out to you, one notch right there and then there's a, another notch corresponding in the same position underneath it. Um, so those two notches align with notches that are there inside of the CPU socket. So all you need to do is align that. If you notice that you're not making them, uh, excuse me, you're not aligning them correctly, then you're not going to be able to install the CPU successfully. You'll be forcing it inside. So we're going to go ahead and rest it into place. And from there, we can see that we have now have it notched into the new notches here. And keep in mind that um, these Z87 series of motherboards are not compatible with any previous generation Intel-based CPUs. They only correspond to the fourth generation core series processors. So once we have that now rested in place, we're just going to go ahead and bring the actual retention plate down. You'll see that the actual lever is in an upward position. So we're going to go ahead and bring this down. You will feel at this point some actual resistance. This is entirely normal. It's the contact from the retention plate making contact with the IHS and then making contact with the actual pad underneath it. So we're going to keep coming down, keep feeling resistance, keep feeling resistance, entirely okay, and you're going to want to swoop out and then go ahead and insert in. And now, now you've gone ahead and successfully installed your CPU. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that one more time for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull out. You'll see the retention plate comes up. I'm going to go ahead and pull down. Once I get about midway, you're going to feel some resistance. That's OK. If you want at this point, begin to pull outwards and then go ahead and then push inwards and that locks it into place. And that's how you successfully install a CPU.